What's up, YouTube? Captain Jamaica here again. Back with another video. I got a small topic to talk about. Because uh, before my trainees get off the truck, they always ask me, like, what they got to do once they're solo, what they got to do to become a trainer. And I always tell them how, so I just figured I'd just let you guys know right here for those of you who are thinking about becoming trainers like i said most of my videos are always going to be directed towards new drivers so if you're experienced this isn't for you so <clears throat> it's pretty simple after you get off the truck with your trainer you will be evaluated for 10 months i don't know if i just used the right term Evaluated. 10 months after you finish your training, they're gonna check you out, see what your driving record is like. If it looks good, then they'll ask you to become a trainer. Now, what do I mean when I say if it looks good? You can't have any accidents. They don't like that. You can have incidences, but you can't have accidents. Uh, the difference between incidents and accidents are with accidents, it's property damage. Incidents is, uh, well, accidents are other people's property damage. And incidents are damage to Steven's equipment, meaning the truck. Like, if you were to run off the road and hit a tree, but the tree is still intact, but the truck was damaged, that's an incident because you only damaged the truck. You didn't damage anything else. An accident is like hitting a car, uh, running into a property, other people's property being damaged. That's an accident. And then an incident is only damaging Steven's equipment. So 10 months after you get off the truck with your trainer, they're gonna hit you up and ask you who you wanna become a trainer. Uh, you don't have to say yeah because I didn't say yeah right away because I didn't want to become a trainer. It took a couple months after that before I... And that's another thing. They're going to keep calling. If your record is still good, they're going to keep calling you to ask you to become a trainer. So just keep your record clean. Like I said, no accidents. And once you say yeah, they're going to bring you back to the yard and put you through uh, some classes because they got to make sure you know what you're doing so that you're not out there training students when you yourself don't know what you're doing so you you got to be able to do a full pre-trip and a full post trip you got to know the equipment you know what what is what know what the name they got to make sure you know your stuff because if you don't that's going to make you fail the training class and if you fail it, you can't be a trainer. There's a training class? Yeah, there's a training class. That's my student right here. You want to say hi? Yeah, I didn't know that was <laughs> That just tells me about some problems. <laughs> so, yeah, you got to make sure you know your stuff before they put a student on the truck with you. Uh, and then, from there, once you clear the class, uh, they're able to get a student right away. It's pretty simple. Just prove that you're not a dum-dum when it comes to driving and um, make sure your driving record is clean. Like I said, no accidents, but you can have incidents. And that's pretty much it. It's not rocket science. It's just a small, what? You don't like what? Anyways. <laughs> <laughs>